Allah now introduces something called Nasq. Ma nansakh min ayatin aw nunsiha na'ati bi khairin minha aw mithliha. We do not cancel or abrogate any ayah, which would be a law-giving ayah, but that we replace it with that which is similar or better. He didn't say different, did he? Did he? No, 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 he didn't say different. He said similar or better. He didn't say different. So that which replaces must be either similar or better, not different. So he now sends down Nasr. And that Qibla is now Mansukh. This is the new Qibla. He sends down revelation giving you a new law of fasting. So that law of fasting is now Mansukh. This is the new law of fasting. And now the surprise for you all. He now sends down revelation. It is at this time he sends down the revelation. It is at this time he sends it down. To change that law on the punishment for adultery. That law is now Mansukh. This is the new law. And it is now a public flogging. Somehow or the other, we misread the situation. And we said for 1400 years that it is only for those who are unmarried that the law is now Mansukh. But for those who are married, that law is still operational. The law of the Torah is still operational. Because the Prophet Muhammad did not enact this law. He did not bring this law into the world. He simply enforced the law of the Torah, which the Jews themselves were not enforcing. Is there anything from the Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, anything at all, which says that the new law is applicable only to those who are unmarried? Did he say so? He did not. He did not. 